Hello everyone, my name is Jitin. I'm a PhD student in machine learning at George Mason University, advised by professors Heyman Purohit and Jose Falanguela. I'll be presenting our work on attention realignment and pseudo-labeling for interpretable cross-lingual classification of crisis tweets. The main motivation of this project is to assist emergency managers during the sudden onset of a crisis situation such as hurricanes, floods, uh, shooting, etc. using tweets post, uh, posted by people. So in this work, we address um, uh, three challenges in crisis analytics research. First is that um, training data may not be available in all languages. So we need a model that can transfer knowledge learned from one language to, to another. Um, second is that um, the general purpose and state-of-the-art multilingual language understanding models such as XLMR by Facebook AI Research um, still requires some sort of fine-tuning to adapt, uh, adapt to any um, downstream tasks. And finally, to meaningfully help emergency managers, we also want our models to be explainable about the, um, the predictions that they make. So our task is unsupervised cross-lingual binary classification of crisis tweets that are labeled as requests. Request tweets are those in which someone is requesting for food, shelter, evacuation, etc. So the picture, you can see that on the left side are tweets in English and on the right side are their corresponding original version of multilingual tweets. We use the terminology of source uh, to represent the language that is used to train the model um, and um, target to represent the language which is used to test the model. So given the setup, we want to ask two fundamental questions. Um, first is that um, can a model trained only in English transfer, transfer this knowledge to multilingual data and vice versa? Um, second, um, by using an attention mechanism, can the model attend to parallel words that are relevant only to the task regardless of the language, such as you know, attending to the word hungry in English and um, Grangu in Haitian Creole, which is a dialect of French spoken in Haiti. So our main contribution of this work is a mechanism by which we perform attention realignment using two classifiers that are jointly trained um, task classifier on the left and language classifier on the right, um, and combining this with a pseudo-labeling procedure. The main goal is to ensure that the model is language agnostic at the word level, that is, that is um, the model should be able to highlight the words, um, say, uh, same words or parallel words in different languages. So before explaining the attention realignment method, um, in the upcoming slides, we will first describe the building blocks and baselines for this work. That is XLMR, Bias TM plus attention, and pseudo-labeling procedure. And then we will come back to um, explaining the, um, the attention realignment mechanism. XLMR is a current state-of-the-art multilingual language understanding model. This is a transformer-based mass language model, which is trained on 2.5 terabytes of common crawl, common crawl data in 100 languages. This is also shown to be a significantly outperforming multilingual BERT on a variety of cross-lingual benchmarks. And typically, we want to customize this model to fit our downstream task, which is what we do using a BIOS TM plus attention model for our crisis domain. Um, so um, we use this XLMR embeddings aggregated from all of its 25 layers, and they are passed through the BIOS TM plus att attention model. The attention mechanism gives us a methodology similar to what humans do, that is to look at the uh, part of a sentence at a time. This allows for the model to pick particular words that are deemed important for the prediction process. A BIOS DM only model um, has the problem of mem memorizing long sentences um, and also um, using this attention method allows us to extract these important words um, which can also make our model more explainable. In the picture on the right, you can see that alpha represents the weight vector um, associated uh, with um, words in a sentence, uh, producing a context vector which is later used for predicting the label Y. Finally, um, we have pseudo-labeling, which is an interesting procedure that allows us to label large amounts of unlabeled data using a small but good set of labeled data. So what we do here is to train a model using tweets in the source language and use this trained model to pseudo-label uh, tweets in the target language. Um, and then we add some high confidence examples from this um, pseudo-labeled um, target language um, to the original training set and then retrain the model. So from our results, you know, this turns out to be um, a very effective method. Okay, so now let's look at the attention realignment mechanism, which is the core of this work. 
Um, so here, the main idea is that we use two classifiers that are jointly trained. One is a task classifier on the left, and the other is a language classifier on the right. The, re the task classifier, or the request classifier uh, on the left, predicts 0 or 1 for the task of whether um, the tweet is a request or not. And the language classifier on the right classifies whether the tweet is in source language or target language. And uh, we then utilize their attention layers in such a way that these two classifiers focus on different words for the prediction. Essentially, the idea is simply that the request classifier should be focusing on words that are purely related to the task, regardless of the language. Well, one thing that you may wonder why we need this language classifier when XLMR is already multilingual. So note that here, uh, when we customize to a specific domain like ours, it is still possible to have some leftover linguistic differences and when, uh, and we want to fully alleviate this. Um, so our performance boost empirically um, shows this. Let's dive a bit into this realignment business. Um, so the first step is to subtract the attention weights. For example, consider just the task classifier. When you subtract the attention weight generated for a sentence by the language classifier from its attention weight generated by the task classifier, the model slowly starts giving more priority to the words that are truly related to the task. Similarly, we do um, the subtraction process on the language classifier as well. You can see that eventually both classifiers will slowly start focusing on different words for the uh, prediction. The normalization step is to ensure that the weight subtraction makes sense, and um, the clipping step ensures that we use only positive values for subtraction. Uh, subtracting a negative number may not uh, be ideal. Um, in addition to the subtraction step, we also introduce an attention loss function, which penalizes the similarity between um, the two attention weights. Uh, what this means is that um, if the attention weights for the same sentence on both task and language classifiers are similar, we penalize the model. The final binary, binary cross entropy loss will be a combination of all these. So this summarizes the attention realignment mechanism. Here's a summary of all our models. The baseline is the bias TM plus attention model built on top of the state of the art XLMR model. Um, model M1 is the attention realignment mechanism which tries to separate the attention weights of the two classifiers by attention difference and attention loss. Finally, we have the model 2 which adds pseudo labeling procedure to model M1. For our experiments, we use the open source dataset by Appen, which consists of multilingual tweets and their translations in English. Our experimental setup consists of both English to multilingual and vice versa. We saw good performance improvement in, in both of our models. You can see that there is a 4.3% improve improvement for model M1 and 11.4% improvement for model M2. An interesting thing that we noticed was that the attention realignment decreased the performance of data uh, when trained and tested using the same language. Um, these, uh, these are the scores shown in brackets. Uh, but this was brought back up by the pseudo-labeling procedure. To do some interpretability analysis, um, here is an example of how our model improves the attention layer weights. First two are attention weights produced by the classifiers trained and tested in the same language. So these weights are basically the ideal scores. Third image, um, the one in blue, is how the model, um, the baseline model weighed each word. And fourth is how our model weighs each word. Note that third and fourth are cross-lingual um, setups. You can see that our model aligns more with the first two while the baseline in blue color is more spread out and um, focus on different words. Here's another example where our model M2 aligning more with the models trained and tested using the same, same language. Um, attention weights for the baseline model is still a bit spread out. You know, this shows the effectiveness of attention realignment mechanism in creating a cross-lingual interpretable model. This can be particularly useful for downstream tasks such as multilingual knowledge graph construction where you want your model to pick parallel words correctly. Um, to summarize, we presented a novel approach for unsupervised cross-lingual crisis tweet classification problem using a combination of attention realignment mechanism and a pseudo-labeling procedure. Um, performance evaluation showed that our model outperformed the baselines. Um, we also presented an interpretability analysis by comparing the attention layers of the model showing the importance of incorporating word level language agnostic characteristic in the learning process, particularly useful when training data is available only in one language. We hope to expand our work to additional tasks and datasets um, uh, and more languages. Um, for reproducibility, um, GitHub link to source code, datasets, and documentation are provided in the paper. We hope that you enjoyed our presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us. Thank you and have a great day.